Yo! And it looks like it's gonna have to be modified straight out of the packet. So what's unusual about that? Who needs the oh shit? Okay. okay, here's a problem. We're on the bump stop. Um, we're actually sitting on the bump stop. So, well, shit, we're gonna have to jack it up again. Um, I guess I can cut these bump stops, maybe take, just to take some meat off them. I can't be riding around the bump stop, that's ridiculous. But if I cut them, then there's no going back. Three, I only dropped like three and a half. Uh, so, yeah, I have no choice. I have to remove those bump stops or at least cut them. Right, we're gonna try and get that out with a pair of these because I don't have a, I don't have a socket that big. I don't have a shifter that big. I don't have anything big enough for this shit. So, try it with this. If this doesn't happen, I'm gonna cut them in here. Um, we need to go, shit, this sucks. I think they're twisting. I think they're twisting, but I'm not sure. Oh, they are. We do not just the rubber. Cause that would be fun. Oh, I hate this tool. I really do. This this nut comes loose and then you, it just does itself a mischief constantly. Son of a bitch. Nope. 38 steps. Right now, cut it down and then um, put it back in. See how we go. Now I guess there's several ways to do this. I think um, gonna need to put it in the vise and then either use the angle grinder and burn through it, or use a. Uh, um, I could actually, you know, what might be the best a wood saw. Let's have a look. Possibly the worst thing that could happen at this point is uh, me not being able to screw it back in. So I've got this nut. I'm not even sure it's the right thread. It, it, it threads on somewhat. Um, and I'm just going to get the vise to bite hold of the nut instead of the thread. That way I'm not going to damage the thread and hopefully I'll be able to put it back in the car. Now I think, I think a wood saw will be the best because the teeth are really sharp, it's a new tool, um, so I'm going to give that a go. Now, we've lowered it quite substantially, so we should probably take quite a lot off it. Uh, what would we say here? If we said three centimeters, then we'd be looking at, well this is really hard to judge. Uh, well, okay, what about if we went for the total, and then we'll just subtract it. So if we went for the total of this, I'm gonna say that that's, uh, well, see that's hard to judge too, because it's in the vise. Get it out of the vise, and we'll start again. 
All right, we're looking at 7.2. Uh, I'm not sure you can see this. You can. All right, so I'm looking at 7.2-ish. So if I wanted to take three off it, um, we'd be looking at like four. Take it down to four. So if I marked it there, like that, um, now hopefully there's no metal inside this rubber because if there is then I'm in really in trouble. My saw is not going to cut through it and I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. Right, so just mark it the whole way around. That should be that should be through from the top. Okay. All right, give that a go. See if we can. See if we can't make such a mess of this that I can't drive the every until I get new bump stops. That would be really good. Right, we're up against this wall here, which is not ideal either. Try and keep it nice and straight. Oof, bit of a bendo. Keep it nice and straight. Not that it's going to matter if it's not straight, but I mean, do it for the YouTubes. I'm really just keen to see if there's metal inside this thing. I'm going to turn it. Uh, Turner. William Turner. Ted's cutting stick on something. Oh, a ball. Okay. This is kind of logical. I'm lowering it. Well, I'm lowering it about 30, 47, I think, was the most these springs are rated to lower it. So I should actually probably be cutting more of more than this off. But meh. this is working pretty well, in my opinion. It's funny, you know, I've got all this handle, and I'm using this part here, possibly because the wall's right here. That's just what I want you to think. Oh, dropped it. Good thing it's not breakable. Well, if it is breakable, I'm the man to do it. The man to get that done. Okay. Cut down bump stop. How much did we actually cut off in the end? Did we get? Oh, 3.2. Perfect. That's what you wanted. Set this back up at 4 for the second one. Yeah, hopefully I can get the second one out. If I can't, I'm in trouble. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but... Um, for today's purposes, I think that's going to have to do. Certainly going to work better than had I have left that in there. Anyway, we'll see. I don't think I'll film number two. I decided I would film number two because I got this one out in like three seconds. Just gave it a quick with the with those um, monkey grips, and it just came straight out by hand. Beautiful. So I might put some. Um, what do you call it? Some of the anti C stuff on the threads. Not that you ever want these to come out anyway, but uh Yo, okay, so how do we go here? This should be through a four point should be exactly four. Yep. And our chopped off bit, which has gone a wall, unless that's it there. That's actually three point three in the middle. Three point two and a half. This one is. 
that's 3.2 and a half as well. So these should be um, fairly identical. Not that it matters from side to side. Let's see how they fit. Yo, shout out to Tawashi. Tawashi style. Oh, and David Lesser, you're here. I hope the fronts are easier. <laughs> yeah, not a fucking chance, mate. The fronts are gonna be worse. You watch. All right, these need just a, a nip up. We have a close look at it. Um, about, well, we've probably got exactly what we chopped out of there. Let's jump up and down in the back and see how we are. Okay, well, I'm rocking the car and I'm not hitting the bump stop. So, should be good. What height have we got? So it's about 57. Not bad. Oh. Well, that was more effort than I wanted it to be. Actually, look at the back. Not tucking rubber, but that's pretty good drop. Front. And that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video if you liked it and you want other people to see it. Check out the Instagram, check out the Facebook, check out garagek.com. Part three will be coming along soon. That's it. See you later, guys. Oh, and David Lesser, you're here.